Hey guys, it's Hamo here. I just got a new book in the mail and it's called Klutz Crazy Action Contraptions. And it's a Lego book that has all these weird sort of projects in it. And the best thing about the book is that you actually get all the bricks and gears and axles you need to make the contraptions. So you don't need to go looking for all bits and pieces in your Lego parts bin. So anyway, let's have a look and see a little bit more in the book. So here's a list of all the designs that you can make, the contraptions. And Klutz has done a pretty good job here in giving a great variety of building projects. For the people that are new to Lego, it actually goes through the process of explaining what's in the actual kit. So the plates, the bricks, the axles, the wheels and the gears, the connectors and the bushings and bands. So in exactly what you've got. And then it gives you a few tips and tricks for building with bricks. So if you're an experienced Lego maker, then these wouldn't be new to you. But certainly if you're new to the game, then yeah, this is really helpful information. Anyway, today we're gonna to get started with the Beaker Blender and these are the parts I'll need, so I will get them as we go along. Okay, I've managed to get the parts together, so I'm ready to get started with the Beaker Blender 3000. So first of all, we need a couple of gears, one large, one little one, and an axle. Pop that together. like so, and then we get a, another axle, gear, and bush, and we do a similar thing this time. We have one axle, so that's the part there. Next, we are doing this section, number three two of these large wheels together. And a 12 by axle. Uh, so that's that. Part four is a bush, a brick 12 by and a cog. So now we're just going to assemble this together. Let's see if we can work this one out. Push this through here. Okay, in principle, this is what we've got. We'll put this on here and fix it up with a bush. We're just one part across there, so let's just do that again. So we can see the principle of the turning is happening now. So the next part is to add a, another brick. Close the mechanism up like that. Okay, part six is to build it all off now so it doesn't move anywhere. So we need a 
2x4 plate at one end and at the other end we'll have the 2x1, the 4x1 plates, sorry, and we put these little bricks underneath. Keep it all nice and tidy. And actually we should have put these together. So we're just going to join these together so they stay nice and firm with the two pins. Now we should be able to join those up like so. And there we have it. There we have our basic design. So there's a couple more steps. We're going to add another couple of plates on the bottom just to stabilize it and another 2x4 plate for the top. So as you see we've only got one more thing to do now and that's to add a handle. So the handle is going to go over here. We're going to push this down a little bit and actually push that up a bit, sorry. Give us a little bit of turning space and there's a nice little handle we can use and pop it in like that. So that's the finished product. There's the Beaker Blender 3000 and as you see it turns out quite nicely and nothing's falling apart here so it's quite a good design. We can move that down a bit to give us a bit more things. So I guess all we have to do now is test to see if it works. This is the fun part. So here goes nothing. We hold it here, I assume, and we turn. And look at that. It is actually quite a good. Oh, making quite a few bubbles here, but it's quite a good blender. So that is a success. Well done, Klutz. That is a great, crazy contraption. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today. Tomorrow we'll do another one. In the next video, I will be making the Annoyomatic, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and like the videos if you like the content. Well, thanks for joining me today and bye for now.